Hi, I'm Ray Solar, and welcome to Alt Music Biz, the show that tells you everything that's going on in the music world. We have something amazing tonight. We have the Poets of Rock, a brand new group that's shaking up the internet. Their website is having people stream to it like crazy because of a new album they've introduced, Swenuels the T. We're going to talk with Frankie D, the drummer for the Poets of Rock. And we're going to find out what they did to make this great album called Swenuels the T. Here he is. Come on in here, Frank. Frankie D. Hi, how are you doing, Ray? Hey, hey good, good to, to see, see you. you. Yeah. Welcome. It's been a while, but hey. I'm back. All right. I'm here to talk about the band and our upcoming tour and a lot of information that people don't know about the Poets of Rock. And they call it on the internet, Los Poetas of Rock, because we're bilingual. But the songs are in Spanish, but yet the music is all universal. Right now, we, we have over 120,000 hits, and, we, and that we just put it out about three weeks ago. And we're really excited because we didn't do any advertising or anything. And the people are just going by word of mouth. Everybody is telling their friends and family, and everybody is getting excited. And we just released our, our CD. That's why I'm here today, to oh. get everybody information. What does it mean, the Poets of Rock? Describe why you picked that name for your band. Well, actually, uh, poetry is something that a poet would write uh, uh, some kind of a, a words, put them together in such a way that people, when they hear it, it's music to their ears. And we thought about that. We said, look, if we can pull the members of the band in such a way that are all great artists and great musicians, and they play the music thoroughly, been doing it for all their lifetime, we can make music that will be poetry to their ears. So we call us the Poets of Rock. Poetry and music, that's, that's a good, that's uh, great idea. Well, uh, tell me uh, about who are these members that you brought together that uh, make up this band called the Poets of Rock? Okay, we have five members in the band. Ernesto is the member that actually has been a co-originator of the band. He sings and plays guitar and he writes music and writes songs. So that makes him one of the co-originators of the band. Now, I started with the band about eight years ago. And let me tell you the next person we have in the band. His name is Wagner. Now, Wagner is the lead guitarist. He has influence of Carlos Santana. So if you hear the guitar in our songs, you're going to hear some screaming guitars. But they're also like Guns N' Roses guitars, too. So it'll be more like a rock sound. And then we have Sam, and he's our bass player. And uh, Sam, uh, he's been playing with a lot of bands for many years, and he's he's very good bass bass man, and a good guy and all around musician. And then we have uh, Sean. Now Sean is a piano keyboard player. He played with a previous band that I played with, and it was called Raymond Hart and the High Tones. And uh, actually, I brought him into this new band, the Poets of Rock, because I believe we needed to have keyboards in rock and roll, and a lot of People thought that only guitars and only drums and only bass, but we, the keyboards give us a spice that, that changes the sound and gives it a more journey type sound. So it was an alternative type rock. And so that's what we brought in is Sean. And then also myself, I'm the drummer. I play the drums, been playing the drums since I was very young. And uh, actually my dad, he was a musician also. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he actually had start, started with a group called the King, Kingsman Orchestra. And uh, what happened is uh, he used to come home and want to rehearse, but he didn't have anybody, no drummer or anybody to rehearse with. So he would take me, I was only two years old, put me on top of a, of a little stool, and then he'd get a conga drum and say, here, play this beat. And he showed me the beat and said, play this beat and I'll sing. So he would play his trumpet and sing, and I'd be playing the little conga. And I guess it stuck with me because my whole life I've been playing the drums. And, uh, and, that, and what happened is how I got involved with the Poets of Rock was um, I was with, uh, I, I met uh, Ernesto's daughter and her husband, and they knew that I played the drums. And they found out that their dad was looking for a drummer to join the band at that time because the drummer was not uh, working out that he had. Uh, and uh, it was a different band name. However, he told me to meet him at a Best Buy. And so I went there because they had a drum room at that time. And so what I did is I went there and met him, and uh, I got on the drums, I started to play. Pretty soon, 
the whole, there was a whole crowd in the window. Just you see nothing but faces in the crowd. And then I saw the manager walk in after we, I was doing a bunch of drum solos and drum beats and different kinds of sounds. And he, he said, I can't see out there. I, I just, I, I can't see out there, so I'm going to stay in here. Keep on playing. You're really good. And so that's, that was how I met up with Ernesto. He decided, he said, look, you're, you're, you're hired. <laughs> we can't pick anybody else. <laughs> you're the best. <laughs> so basically, that's where we got into the, the music together. And uh, we created, decided to create a band that was going to be musically for everybody in different cultures and, and do a crossover. And that's why we have the Poets of Rock, Los Poetas of Rock. Yes, and uh, you've recorded a new album. Yeah, okay. we do have a new album CD, and it's uh, basically, uh, we were out rehearsing at the, the keyboard player's home, and uh, he, he lives out in the country, actually in a ranch, and we, we were trying to rehearse there because we figured it was far enough away from everyone and everybody that we could play music as loud as we wanted and really get a lot done there. And we were there for about a year, year and a half playing and rehearsing. And uh, we were recording our CD. And when we got the, rec the CD recorded and all finished, we were all happy. We were all excited. Yeah, you know? tell, me, tell me the name of the album. The album is called Sueños de Ti, which means dreams about you. And mm -hmm. so what we did is uh, we were actually at, at, ho at our homes dreaming or thinking about our CD. And we, on the news, there was a fire that hit that area where our keyboard player lived. And we used to have uh, uh, all our stuff packed away in a storage uh, uh, unit that was there on the property, but it was just like a, a tool shed. And uh, at night, we would pack it and lock it up, and then we'd take it out, and we built the stage, and we actually were rehearsing on a stage. But and uh, this, this was in, in the L.A. area? Yes, uh, it was actually in the uh, Silmar area, which is uh, outskirts of Los Angeles. And, uh, and that, that is in California for the people that may not realize what we're talking about, but it is in California. But what happened is the fire, there was a big fire that probably the biggest in 50 years that has been that hit that area. And it, it engulfed everything and it, it burned up our, all our instruments. Uh, as you can see, there's a picture right here of, this, of, of what, what the devastation was. And they tried to put the fire out, but there was, it was just too, too big of a fire. So everything got burned. So we lost uh, most of the instruments that we had. Uh, and right now, we have been working hard to get everything back so we can go on tour. Well, that's a, that that yeah. sounds like, whoa. Uh, but at least you, you finished the album before this all happened. Yeah, we that finished the album. And thank yeah. God that nobody got hurt, or else we would be in a lot of trouble. But yes. you know, we thank God for that, and we're happy to uh, be able to continue with our music. And so you're, you're, you're building up. And uh, you're going to be uh, going on some uh, tours lately. So tell me about your, your, your touring prior to all this going down. Yeah, we had played uh, for Solstice. That was an event that happens uh, like every year. And what happens uh, there is, is over 40,000 people attended. And at that uh, concert, uh, uh, we were the opening act. And there was 100 uh, you know, musicians that actually played that day and performed. And uh, you know, we were... We were the, one, of the, one of the opening groups, and MTV goes there. Uh, the Grammy, people from the Grammys uh, show up there, and it's, it's a, a big uh, place for musicians to go. A lot of photo shoot, a lot of uh, newspapers are covering the story, and, t and television uh, stations covering the story. And then radio stations also uh, will pick up ours. But at that time, we didn't have our CD made. We just went there to perform, mm -hmm. and, uh, but now we had it made. And uh, we had a, a big disaster in our band. However, uh, we, we got want to go on, and we want to do what, what we've been planning to do. Is well, make you know, music. A, lo a lot of a lot of groups. When you hear the stories of albums, you hear all the struggles that they've gone through and everything. But but it produces really great music. I think great music comes out of that struggle of life. So tell me, one of your favorite songs on the album? There's actually ten songs on the album. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have a copy right here to show you what the CD looks like. And uh, basically, the, the, tent, the, the favorite song that I have is called Estás Conmigo. And that is actually on our website. If you go to the website at www.lospoetasderock.com or poetsofrock.com, you'll find us there. And uh, you, can listen, you can tap where it says listen and, or escucha in Spanish, and you can hear the, that song, which is, one of my, is my favorite song, one of them from the CD. Mm -hmm. There's much more better songs and nicer songs, but I, I would recommend 
you listen and to get a, a taste of what the group sounds like. Okay, Frankie D, let's listen to the new album by the Poets of Rock right now.
sé si estás conmigo hoy No sé si estás con otro I've heard the music and I really like it. It's a, it's it's a uh, sound of like Santana mixed uh, with uh, some uh, classic rock mixed with Journey. Uh, it, it's it, it's it it carries all the, the the great rock vibes, but it's in Spanish. Yeah. Well, the main thing is that we wanted to do rock justice because I believe there's a lot of groups out there that play rock in Espanol or Spanish rock, but they make the music sound like it's a different type of music. Either it's reggae or uh, it's uh, like a cumbia type sound or it's, it's a reggaeton type sound, but they call it rock. And to me that's not giving justice to the, to the music because music is, is a style and it should be given the style. And when you say I want to go to a store and I want to buy some uh, classic rock, they have a section for classic rock. And they say when I want to buy some, uh, you know, um, uh, rock that is uh, like for uh, rock in Espanol, they have a section. And you pull out the record and you, or a CD and you take it home, and it's like reggaeton mixed with some kind of uh, other type of music, and it does or or uh, reggae, and they're singing it and they call it a rock. 
you know, rock and espanol. And so you're really getting cheated. And I, I don't want people to get cheated anymore. I want to give them rock. So when they buy our CDs, they will know that they're going to get real uh, rock, but it's alternative rock. Because we're not playing the same style that everybody has played for the last 20 years. We come out with our new style, which is very, very exciting that it's, it's having such a, a rapport on the internet. Everybody is listening right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've, you've taken the design of rock and uh, translated it into, into Spanish and given it a feel that is brand new. And if this was listened to by, by a lot of people on the internet, they're, they're going to find something that's very exciting and very new and very fresh, but yet has solid rock base to it. And it has a, and the drums that are also solid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're talking with Frankie D from the Poets of Rock. We'll be right back after this break. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg. With Here on Earth, I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in Southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. In case you're just tuning in, we're talking with Frankie D from the Poets of Rock Hi. about a brand new tour they have coming up. We got to find out. You, you've gotten together with some great people that uh, you're going to be touring with, I hear. Yeah, we actually we we have uh, told our story to some people, and uh, uh, one of the persons is uh, Michael Esqueda. Uh, he's a uh, renowned musician. He's been playing uh, in Latin country in Mexico and, and playing in the United States. He has a new CD out and I'm, I, I spoke with him and I'm holding his CD in the picture here and he's holding my CD. We are working on a tour with him and his sister. Her name is Maricela. Now she's been in the music business for like 20 years and she's very famous in the, in the Latin market. And uh, so we're, we're looking to open up with some for them as, and be the opening act once again. So mm -hmm. that makes us, uh, give us a really good uh, avenue for us to go on and, uh, with our music career here. Now we're looking forward to doing our tour this uh, summer and we're gonna tour in, uh, starting in California. We're gonna be going to Mexico and we have a big tour scheduled out there. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, tour the nation and then we'll be back in Los Angeles to end the tour. So we're gonna, it's gonna be very exciting to be traveling around, meeting everybody. And also, it's going to be exciting for everyone to get their CD. Now, we, we sold uh, a lot of uh, CDs so far, but I think it's going to really just go like wildfire, like the fire that happened to us, but it's going to go the other way. <laughs> it's going to be for CD sales okay, very soon. All right. Congratulations on your album, and I'm glad you were able to overcome that small disaster, and, and I'm glad that it, it, no one got hurt in your band. 
and that you're able to rise from the fire like the phoenix yeah. and continue to go on and, and, and make great music. So thank you for appearing on Alt Music Biz. It's a pleasure to be here, yeah. and I hope to come back again with some more information and more uh, exciting news about the Poets of Rock and LosPoetasOfRock.com. Oh, okay. So, poetsofrock.com. Now, we also are going to have some YouTube uh, videos coming up in the near future, and I say be on the lookout for that, too. And we'll announce it on our website. All right. Well, uh, you too there. Thank you for joining us in the Alt Music Biz. And until next time, we say just keep on listening and keep on drumming. All right. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you.